Hi, this is Pastor Rick. I'm very glad you could join me again. I want to talk to you about something that's very, very important. Uh, most of the time I'm talking about personal messages of hope to encourage you. and Today I want to talk about how important it is for us to share what we've received so freely with those who are around us. I believe that every single one of us knows at least 8 to 15 people who uh, we're really responsible for. Responsible to tell the truth about Jesus Christ, responsible to pray for, responsible to show some uh, love and to minister to. Think about it. Make a list. You probably have at least 8 to 15 people that you know that are clo fairly close to you. Now I'm going to read this scripture. It says, how can they believe in the one whom, of whom they've not heard? And how can they hear without someone preaching to them? Unfortunately, that word preaching is used a little too much. And some people think, well, it's the preacher's job. The truth is, if you're a Christian, every single one of us has an assignment. That is to share the good news of Jesus Christ with people who are around us. Remember I mentioned about 8 to 15 people? I want you to do something. I have an assignment for you, a request. Make a list of about 8 to 15 people that you know and begin praying for them every day. And say, you know what, God? You have blessed me so much. I want to be a blessing to the people who are around me. And ask God what you're supposed to do. Maybe it's to pray for them. Maybe it's to encourage them. Maybe it's to share the good news of Jesus Christ. Maybe it's to help them in some practical way. When you begin taking on responsibility to minister to the people God has placed into your life, your whole life will be richer. You will, you will enjoy your life more, and the people who are around you will appreciate you more for your help and your love and your prayer. Jesus Christ commanded his followers. He said, go into all the world and preach the gospel. Well, that, does that word preach again? What it really just means is bear the message. Take the message we receive from God and share it with people who are around us. You know what? That promise is not always easy to be obeyed because we're humans. We're not always perfect. It's better, again, to tell people that we're, you know, we're not perfect. We're just like they are. We're sinners but we're saved by grace through faith in Jesus Christ. You know, it's exciting to think about being a missionary and getting on an airplane and traveling to a foreign land and telling people over there the good news and then get on the plane and come home. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you the most important job to do is for you and me to be faithful to pray for and to witness to and to live our faith out before the 8 to 15 people that are in our lives. If every one of us would do this, God would change America. If every Christian around the world did that, the world would change. You and I have the power within us, the person of the Holy Spirit. We have the Word of God. We have everything that we need to do this. Will you join me and begin sharing hope with people around you? Please, consider it. Start doing it. Get back to me and let me know what God does as you obey Him in this area of Go into all the world and preach the gospel. I'll translate that. Reach out to the people who are around you, your 8 to 15 friends, family, neighbors, co-workers, and tell them the good news of Jesus Christ. And let me know what happens. It's not going to be instantaneous. It's something you need to begin praying over and praying over. And when God opens an opportunity, you share the truth about Jesus with people around you. Watch. You'll see that it makes a real difference in your life and in the ones you love and care for. Okay? Well, God bless you. I look forward to see you here.